Hi everyone and welcome back. So in this video we are going to design another app and as uh, in this playlist I'm covering react, typescript, tailwind and some uh, concepts of react like context API, some hooks and the more important is how to build these apps right what's the thought process let's say what this app is all about is very basic very simple there is a random message generator app is this which can generate a different kind of messages the message can belongs to error category warning category or the info category let's say you are writing a backend system where you have a logger which is emitting the log events of type either warning error or info and there is some kind of a chart some kind of a message board where you have to show those messages in the toaster and also a tile displaying that message same for for that kind of a ui and we have to write uh, write react components so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use the tailwind for some styling and i'm going to use react typescript setup which we already have in the the previous video okay we will have a context apis hooks and all so let's get started with this we already have the the setup so let's get started here we can remove the things which we don't need from the previous video we'll create those things from the scratch okay index.ts okay so here also we are going to have some kind of a context which can manage all the messages which are coming uh, from some kind of a data stream so here we are going to have app component app.tsx and that app component we are going to render in this okay now let's create our app.tsx here or oh, let's use the small case it's better to use one common standard like the lowercase file naming app.tsx inside this app.tsx we are going to do a lot of things like the how the the component structure is going to look like first let's talk about the context the context apis right we can have all this data which is coming from some kind of a stream log stream inside a context and then we have some actions like we can stop generating those messages we can clear the whole board of these log context like, like all the log messages we can delete we can stop we can clear and we can also clear them through these buttons so it can be a context which is storing all these messages and then there are methods like stop message add message remove message clear message all these methods are available which we can trigger from the ui component so the whole is the react context and the react context has all these messages in the state and then we have some utility methods like add remove uh, clear stop start all these methods which will stop start these messages okay so first we will talk about how the context will look like so here inside src we can create a context folder and inside this we can create a logger dot context dot ts okay so this logger context is something which is going to generate us the messages and there will be an api let's say that is generating all these messages and this api is generating a stream of messages which is which keeps coming so we can use a simple observable here okay so let's build our context uh, this is a logger context okay and we are going to use we are going to build it in the same way we were doing earlier so import create context from react and here we are going to import create context 
okay and then we are going to define the enum of type theme because we have three different kind of errors three different kind of messages coming from the logger warn error and info okay and then we have to define the interface or the type for our context i mean some people use interface to define the type or some type or you can also create a simple types so error logger context state let's call it like this and here we are going to have okay in the context i'm going to have a messages and message will be of type message okay for that we have to create an interface like what 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 is the content of the message we are going to have so content content of the message is message and priority we can define it here only so this is the message priority is uh, we can have priority is priority is defined as error one or log so there is another enum which is priority and we can use one common one we don't need theme i think uh, we can use the priority only so priority is the type and this is the message that we are going to get from the logger okay message and then we can have some more because these, these all these things we are going to put in the context is running that will be the boolean so initially it is boolean and it will be a false then we have a lot of other attributes like add message and we are uh, this is a method okay this is going to return void because we are defining the type right now okay not doing the implementation message will be of type message so similarly we have couple of methods like add message remove message clear message stop message start message so start message i'm talking about uh, this method here like stop message start message clear message there will be a, this is a toggle stop and start clear so there are three methods clear message stop message start message add message or remove message all these methods are there so add message okay this is a duplicate this is fine so instead of add we will have a remove and then we have clear clear will remove all we don't need to pass any argument here so we are just filling the context and then stop message it will stop generating the message for us stop message start message okay and then const here we can create a context context default values i mean we have to initialize the context with some default values before i create the context and here i can say why it is complaining okay i need to specify the attributes messages is an empty array is running initialized with false okay add message this is going to be a method okay similarly okay, i will copy it like this so i can just initialize them okay remove message and this is going to return empty object let's say initialize all the methods and remove these additional colon we have added okay remove message clear message and put the commas and we are done okay so this is the default value which with which we are going to initialize our context export const error logger context equal to here we are going to use a create context from react create context or what is the type of the context here we will specify the type type of the context is array logger context state and this is the initial value of the context i mean this is how we you create the context 
that's it now this context we can import and start using this so initially from some component we put all the messages and then we keep add the message remove the message clear the message stop the message and all now next thing we are going to do is write our components and so we also need to look at how we are going to generate the messages so this is our layout right so somebody from somewhere is generating the messages for us here i'm using observable so you don't need to look at the api side that how the messages are getting generated i have already written it it's just nothing but uh, observable i am creating the instance of observable and here i'm generating the random messages using faker faker is a library using view we using which you can generate the random objects and then you need to call the subscribe method to receive the data coming from the observable observable is like a stream of data if you are an angular developer then you might have already seen how to create the instance of observable and how to subscribe to the observable so here we are subscribing observable dot subscribe and here we are unsubscribing it so we need only this subscribe method okay uh, so what we are going to do now is creating the components so inside src i will create a components in the src will create a component and what do you see in this ui i can see this is the actions these are the tiles the, there can be another tile manager so there is a parent component which will have the tiles and this is the action so we can create a couple of components here so first of all there can be one folder we can create which is tiles okay and inside the tiles we can create all the components tile manager tile list item tile list and there is a couple of components we can create is the let's say header dot tsx and another components let's say actions dot tsx actions dot tsx and on top of this there will be a landing page which will contain everything landing page okay let's design all these components one by one so now let's create our app component which will be just after index.ts uh, here we are rendering app component and this component is going to use the provider and is and will render all the children's inside it let's say landing page our the whole app is just a landing page that is going to be rendered inside the provider of the context we have created so let's create our component so i will say sorry const app this is the the functional component i'm going to write something inside this block like all the things which i needed and here I will use the the provider we are we have created error logger context dot provider and inside this we are going to render landing page which I will create now okay so that we will be creating and here inside the provider we will pass some values okay we already know what the the provider contains right if you talk about the values then it is messages comma is running then we have add message then we have remove message i will add all of these and do we have anything else left start stop remove add clear and we will add the implementations for each and everything i think clear start stop remove add this is it okay now inside this component we will add the implementation of all these things uh let's say uh what do we have is const here we are going to populate all the messages set here we are actually filling our context with the data huge state and huge state is of type message array i mean this is a message of array and we can initialize it with the empty array and message 
we can import from the context and then another is a boolean is running and we can say set is running this is again a boolean and we are going to use the huge state hook this is of type boolean and initialized with true let's say it's running okay now we have to define all these methods is running is covered messages it should be messages s let's add s there okay two values are fine now we have to add messages all these things we have to add so const add all these methods we have to define I will just copy and paste so we can add others okay there is add message remove message clear message so there is a start and stop define all the methods here because here we are going to write the implementation start stop add remove clear okay add message add message means we have to add a new message to the message array message is of type message here we are writing typescript so we have to be careful about the types okay and i can use set messages okay set messages and here we are using set state so and this is an array always remember that we should always uh, and the requirement is whenever the new log message is coming we have to put that message on top of the array i mean that new message should appear first so what we can do is we can use a callback and we will do all the things inside a callback this is messages of type message array this is the current uh, existing data inside the hook so we'll just create a copy const copy we can use spread operator so this is you can call it as an old message this is fine calling this is an old message because these are the existing list we already have and then we will do uh, unsift copy dot unsift and we are going to put the new message onto the first position okay why it is complaining set messages of type message array this should be fine and we have to return something return our copy and we are done this is the implementation of set messages okay i mean how how are we going to add a new message first we created a copy this is the right way of uh, implementing use a callback in the set state when you are doing a class based component or whenever you are doing hook then always x is the this is the current state i will do something with the current state and return the new state because set state or all these operations are async then we have the the clear messages clear messages means we have to call set messages i mean here we are just setting the value to empty there is no way so we can just simply do it and then start message the start message is uh, start message is set running true it's just a boolean stop message is set running false okay and then there is a remove message remove a particular message okay this is again a uh, little bit tricky i mean how we are going to do the set message first we are accessing the old messages so we let's call it as a current copy which we have okay we don't need to do unsip because here we are going to remove i created a copy of this and then i will do the filter const final message is equal to my current copy dot filter i can call filter will give me the new array by filtering based on the criteria i'm going to pass item is of type message here i can return something based on my criteria so if item dot priority if this is equal to same as 
so here we are going to also pass the message which you wanted to remove so here we are checking if the priority is same as the message dot priority sorry message it's a message some wrong definition post up message dot priority and so we have to check if uh, this data exists in that case item dot message is triple equals to message dot message if this condition matches then just do not return this particular item and once we have everything we can call set messages with this new set of data which we wanted to pass this is the filtered list okay i think we can simply return it because we are already calling set messages so here it is our final messages this is done right because we are already inside a set messages we got the final list we can return it from here so this will cover our cases okay set messages we got the current copy and then we do the filter and then we returned it okay now we just need to create the the landing page all the header actions and the tiles okay so let's design our landing page landing page would be simple here we are going to have const landing page this is going to be the functional component so we can also define that as a functional component i mean it is always optional to put it as a functional component it is not taking any props and this is an arrow function functional component and what it is returning is couple of components so components can be a header component first one is this and then there is another is actions and we will wrap these inside another div and then another is the tile manager okay we can wrap this inside this fragment or we can it's better we let's create a div and add the class name class name will be a container mx auto okay and this is the closing of the div okay now we need to import all these components and we need to define these somewhere import let's say header component from and this is we are going to import from component let's say call it as header similarly we have actions component import actions from so let's call it as actions component inside the component so uh, i think header is outside so it's better we do the right import header actions and then import tile manager from that is going to be inside components i don't know why this is not working currently i am in the landing page from landing page i can see okay landing page is inside let's move it outside let's keep it uh, we don't need a components it's already inside the tiles and then we can call it as a tile manager okay this is like a structure now we can think about how we are going to organize them export default landing page okay let's create these components one by one so inside components we have everything let's call it as header component and let's import stuff here react comma functional component this is our header component so header component is simple i don't know why i created it 
with header component again a function component and here it can be division class container mx auto and i can just display a simple message uh, h3 here i can edit some class names text to excel margin 4 heading 4 something like this okay and we can call it is log 4z message generator I mean recently we have this security breach with log 4z okay this is header component similarly we can add the actions component actions component in the actions component we are going to have two buttons and then we will fix the styling and all this stuff here we are going to access the context because we are going to have two buttons here stop and clear and we are we are going to call the methods to our context like uh, start message stop message so we are going to use use context okay inside use context we are going to pass error logger context error logger context and we can get all the things which we need is uh, stop my start message stop message is running all these flags we can get clear message and then what I will do I will distribute these methods inside the buttons button uh, we have a couple two buttons here start and stop okay here class name we can add some buttons class name is uh, bz uh, what, what should I call bz gray 800 uh, rounded all these methods we can add so there, let's say there are two method two buttons they are toggling okay so if is running then we have to show stop so here we have a boolean condition if it is is running that means we have to show something and if is running is false we have to show something else so i will copy this if it is running then show this otherwise show this and just format this content so here we are showing if his is running is true then let's call it as stop if his is running is false then we'll call it as start and the another method we have is clear so we created actions component and when you do on click we already know what actions we are going to perform on click so here we are going to call stop messages we have stop why it's not appearing on click stop message similarly we have other methods what is wrong with this expected one argument stop message no stop message cannot have argument we'll fix that stop message then this is start message then this is clear message clear message and then this is a start message i think we did some mistake here this should not expect any argument go to error logger context okay here we did mistakes stop message doesn't need any argument start message doesn't need any argument remove and add does now uh, we should be good now it works fine okay we will we'll fix the styling part later now we can move to the tile manager that is the the important stuff so inside tiles we will create all the components tile manager dot tsx and we can call another thing is tile list and tile list items dot tsx 
and then another component is file list item dot tsx so tile manager tile manager is the the root component which will display uh, which component i mean which message should go to which tile okay now let's create a tile manager i will copy and paste the existing gsx from the actions component and then i will change the content of this and here the content of body will also change this is style manager component this is again a functional component and here we have a lot of things okay we are going to have a start message we are going to have messages all the list of messages uh, why do i don't see the list of messages inside a logger context let's go to our logger context we should be passing messages right so this is go to our parent component yes this message i'm talking about and is it different okay messages is running this is a boolean this is a message array okay so inside tile manager we will get all these things we are going to get add uh, why i'm not seeing the typings okay okay yeah i yeah, got it because the path was incorrect we need to import it again so that i can get everything correct so message add message here remove message clear message is running lot of all these things is running clear message whatever we needed in this tile manager we will import all those things this is our context okay and then here we are going to populate things inside our context so we are going to use use effect here we are going to subscribe to the stream so that we can put the messages inside a context empty dependency we will fix the whatever dependency we need we will decide that so here if so we need to populate the messages only when we are running right so we can just pass this if is running we can pass this is running as a dependency so if is running if true if is running is true then only we will call add message and what message we are going to do is we are going to generate the messages so we are going to let's call it as a stream of data const stream and we are going to call generate message and inside this callback we are going to get message of type message and once we receive it we can do all these things like okay if it is running if our if we have set is running enabled then add message we just add the message there and then we can also notify okay this is the new message coming has arrived we'll import all these required things generate message we need to import i mean this is the api we are using import generate message message from uh, we are already using apis i think we have to go outside and then one more outside and then we have apis from there we are getting generate message add message okay we are set if it is not running we don't need to worry about anything and whenever is running turns from true to false we have to always check do we need to do anything and then uh, we have to return because we are subscribing to something right so we can actually call this method stream this is what we are returning because this is going to be unsubscribe the stream observable stream that you can we can explain that later and now we have to actually get the 
different type of messages so this is let's say container inside the same container we have the tile list component so we have three different tiles type of tiles right one is showing the info one is showing the warning one is showing the error so here we can filter out things warning messages so we already got the messages then we can actually do the filter here we can how we can filter based on the type so same logic we are going to apply for all message dot type message dot priority equal to priority i think we have this interface priority interface priority dot okay this is a priority dot let's say warning right same thing we have to do for all this is for warning message this is for error and all so we can call it as error messages and this is called info because we have the three vertical tile lists right so here we can call messages equal to warning messages and we can create this is as a three different columns so we got the error messages and then info messages we need to check the condition here it should be info it should be error oh no okay we are good here so we are passing the message and we also need to pass the type which is like the priority okay here we are talking about the priority dot warning same priority we can pass to all the components like this is for the error message this is for the info and then we will create the the tile list component will create the tile list component for all these variants because tile list is taking messages and type and based on that it is just displaying the inputs and here every tile uh, if i show you the ui every tile has this clear method right so i'm talking about this component these three components now these are nothing but a tile list component we just passing the different variants and every tile has a clear item means we wanted to remove so for that we will call remove message and you will just pass the message which you wanted to remove so remove message we are done now the next thing is create the tile list component and then we can export default tile manager we have to create tile list component from see i think we already have the tile list here we need to write our code before that it's going to be three column grid so i will just say this is a container and inside this we can have another class we can call it as a flex sorry uh, grid grid column 2 grid column 3 and we already have three divs right so they will be divided into three different columns and we can also decide the gap we want to put yeah, we can also select gap let's say gap 4 is fine okay so now next thing is the tile list and the tile list items and we are done with this whole app we will just show the demo So now another thing is the tile list we will just show the tile data what tile information we have and we will show an action so i will copy i don't like to import things again and again so this is tile list okay jsx we will clean up little bit here we are going to put a different thing and we already know 
that the colors colors also we need to take care like these are the different type of colors we can just use a standard colors bz red 500 bz yellow 800 bz green 200 something like this so first of all we have to get the tile color and uh, apply the custom styles so const get tile uh, sorry const sometimes i just look at the keyboard and start typing get tile color and based on the index index is of type number and here we are just going to check i mean there is a standard set of colors which we have to apply either we can use the styles or here we can apply the classes if the priority priority dot error is equal equal to index then we have to return either we can return a class let's say uh, either we return a class or we can return the hex code for the error this is the hex code because we are using tailwind so we can do it in the better way so this is the if and then re remaining we can add similarly what we are going to return okay and we can also get the labels because the label will be decided based on the type i'm talking about this thing okay error type warning type how would we get the label because tile list is a common component right so based on the label if priority is error priority is warning we can get the labels and now we can call it so here we are going to apply the style dynamically so i will create one simple thing const style equal to background color const style equal to background color and we are going to call get tile color and we will pass the type type we are receiving in the props so here we are receiving the props you, rem you remember from the tile manager we are passing two things message type and remove message so tile list here we have to define the i props type tile list props and here we have messages we are getting of type message array then we have a type which is of here we are passing the number the index okay and then there is a method remove message from the tile which is taking message as an input and returning i mean this is the type definition only here we are passing message of type message okay so we are pretty much done tile props we have to pass so instead of empty bracket this will be hosting this type okay and then we can access all these things because this is of type title props let's call it as a title list props and here tile list props we are getting all these things so we are getting messages comma remove message comma type we got all the three things and we are we started using even the type so based on the style we are going to apply this style to the type okay so let's uh, start putting some jsx here so let's say we can just add some margin padding and all for now m4 not margin p2 mx2 and here uh, first of all the label because it's uh, what will be the type so label and we can set the, both the things label and type so for that we have to call get label 
and we have to pass the type simply and the count means the message count of this particular type so what we can do is we can simply do a message messages dot count dot length will be the count of messages which which are available and then we can simply do is messages dot map and here we are getting so item is of type message and then there is index of type number inside this map we are going to return the items okay we have to return something that's why it is complaining yeah, but we are doing that so we can add some div class name this m is capital class name we can add okay this is like a card component so we can add a um, adding two background color and all we will add the, the appropriate classes and here we can pass all these things to the tile component I mean I, I unnecessarily created this hierarchy we don't need this kind of a nesting remove message this is the remove message we have and key also we can pass for this style we have decided the style of this particular component this particular tile tile list actually and then there is a key which is index unique key class names we don't need to add so for this div okay key should be added here i am wrong here we need to add a key to the immediate div not here and the tile component <coughs> so tile component we can create so this is the tile list item okay now finally is the the tile list item which is simply a simple component we can define this here let's copy paste this and I'm just unnecessarily copying a lot of things which are not even needed tile list item make sure you, re you are removing all those things which are not needed here let's say these things are not needed I have removed them so in the props what we are getting we are getting the message of message object and we are getting remove message okay tile list this is item I will export this I mean it's going to be a lengthy video but it's fun writing these things so we are getting message and remove message I list props and here we are going to write JSX JSX will contain a simple thing just a message about that so I will just paste whatever I have planned for this component So it is we are receiving messages it's not a, it's a simple message single message item so it is a message dot message which is a label and then on the button we are passing we are calling this method so we have a class name let's say uh, rounded md and bz gray 400 something like this width is 24 we will fix all these things so we have now all the components are there we can remove the unused imports there is a there is a plugin which when you save it it removes all the imports which are not required here okay let's close this and try to run this so here we are done with the list item and uh, tile list now we can check the output on port 3000 and let's see how it looks like so we need to add uh, styling and couple of more things to make it look nice okay currently this is working as expected i think if i stop start we just need to make it more nice okay 
this is the warning this is the error i think we need to show proper labels and uh, these are the grid items right so we can use the flex uh, we can also style it a little bit using inspect block we can add some padding so this is the background color let's see this too so here we can see this is the first grid we can add i think a lot of other things here like uh, the some margin padding and then the color attributes and all so tile list and this is the tile list item so it's like margin four from bottom top and this is rounded let's say and we don't need border and inside this we are rendering our tile component okay now this should be applied here at the tile level rounded and at the tile level we have one button let's go inside the tile component and here we can add some classes let's try to remove width so here we can add some margin and padding padding 4 and let's see how it looks like now a little bit better we can add this button I mean the button width can be it's like we added uh, too much margin here which we can avoid and we don't need margin we can just add padding px4 and here also on the tile list instead of adding margin we can add px4 margin we can add as a 2 okay let's wait for the compilation and this is our output okay this looks fine here i think in this we have to add some margin because it's just only padding we have added let's talk about this so we have added pad, uh, margin but we don't have a padding let's keep p4 so it will become padding right this looks uh, better and then th this is a button button we can say width full instead of 24 so I will just zoom it a little bit so here we are saying I mean this is how I used to do it like inspect block and add the, the related classes and we can add the text center text center and the hover properties and all we can add and it can have margin top mt4 mb4 and 2 is still fine mb2 margin top 2 margin bottom 2 this looks better and then i think we added a too much margin here m1 is fine and padding 2 is fine yes this is still better and then this is the button we have margin bottom is one is fine because we need to put this in the bottom okay yeah now this looks better here we can just call it as a, a blue button or whatever you want bg blue or based on the whatever the colors now we can also set some colors okay let's put these classes so this we need to add to the button i list item we have one button width full okay and this is fine for the div i list uh, and here is our div we can set some classes here And similarly, this is the flex column, three column grid. 
and now we can reload this I think this would be applied to everywhere this is the tile list yes I mean the blue blue button doesn't look that good we can just change it based on whatever we have right and then these actions action buttons we can center uh, center them so here bg gray 800 uh, this is still fine so here we can say text white uh, text white 600 if there is some kind of a color background gray rounded md and width is so let's say 24 and this is justify center let's create consider it's a flex and then justify center okay and we can add this everywhere the width of the button let's see the change it's still compiling but what we have done is we change the background text color rounded and we set the width and this is justify center okay this didn't work but we can change the color bz gray doesn't look good and then we can set the gray text gray 200 this looks good and we can add some hover effect and if you wanted to add some margin m2 is good okay this is better so we can just copy this and we can apply that to the button and the whole container we can set this to edge screen and we can set bz uh, let's say gray 100 okay this is like uh, only it is setting only to the container so first of all let's tie copy the styles for the button Okay, this is justify center and then we have these three buttons and we can also set some background for the whole body instead of just putting this for the container so here is our app component this is my app component and it is rendering the landing page So this is a container MX Auto. So we can say BZ Gray 200 vertical screen, and this is our component. This is how it looks like. The number of messages you can just remove a couple of them, right? This is our message container, and now you can start it. It will start popping up the messages one by one, right? You can clear. It has clear out all the messages, right? So there are many ways to customize this. The, the whole objective of this is how these things are working and how we have applied the tailwind that is very easy. We are just using flex container, flex grid, three column grid and putting all these uh, uh, items inside this. Okay, clear, stop, start. And then it starts putting up the messages inside the grids, right? A very simple. Now what we will do is we will also add some test cases first of all we can also fix what is the the warning label here the messages message count it is like the seven messages of type error two messages of type info uh, five messages of type warning the other customization we can do here is in the tailwind config like we want to have some background colors and all so we can put this light blue similarly we have three different three type of category of colors right so uh, if I pull that down, these are the three colors we have, right? So we can try to populate them inside our Tailwind config, 
that is the the right way of doing it so there is an error and we will just provide the hex for that this is error this is warning this is info and we just copy and paste them here So this is our first one okay so these are the three or uh, three different new colors we have added and how to use them uh, we can simply use bz uh, error and then we can set the colors like light blue how we are using it we can just put a busy light blue similarly the busy error busy warning busy info uh, if we try it in the tiles so this is the tile list and here we are getting to know what is the the type of the tile if i so where where can we use this we are providing the style all right so these styles will be provided based on the based on the type right so uh, here we are actually creating a style so instead of doing this what we can do is based on the type we can get the class name okay so here we can say class name and we can just get we can just call get class type okay so class name get class type here we can just define I mean there are different ways we can use the class names module here get class type and we are passing type to this get class type and here we can just actually because we already have the classes so busy error busy warn busy info okay get class type we are passing the type here and it should be able to give us the class name and the same class name we are setting uh, is it reporting any errors everything is good let's see this Compile with warning, everything looks good. Get tile color, we have removed that dead code. Yes, I mean we we fix we have to fix some of the the uh, paddings and all. Like we have to add some paddings, so we have to also add that. Adding two. Margin one. So this is how we can use the the styles tailwind config tailwind config can give us the configurations and here we can set all the background colors and all these properties inside this okay that's it in the next video we are going to add the test cases for this i mean we also talk about the typescript react typescript and then test cases using jest and we can we have this uh, container context container we can write the test cases for that So now we can add some test cases also. So let's create a new folder, tests, and inside this test folder, we are going to add a couple of tests. Okay. Uh, my first test case will be uh, we can create a simple test for context because we are going to mock the context and we are going to write the test for that. PSX and we already have the dependencies if you can see we already have the testing library added just DOM react and user event these are the the couple of libraries you need from the react testing library okay here we are going to import react all the the same thing and here 
we are going to import couple of utilities from our testing library testing library react testing library that is react okay here we need uh, let's say fire event if you wanted to fire a particular event render to render a component and then screen to get the component instance okay and then let's get started here what we are going to create a mock context which is of type error logger context state that gets imported automatically and now like we have a couple of attributes in this is running i initialize that with the true messages that is empty array similarly all the other methods and how can we mock like if i wanted to create a mock for the add message i can just simply do is just dot function and it is a mock of it right similarly we can create a mock function for all add remove clear start and stop we have add we have remove we have a start stop okay what else is left clear message okay so add messages remove messages i think it is add messages or it is complaining add message we already have so this is our context now right now we can create a simple function because we can test a component only after rendering it and i have already covered how to how to set up the testing and all the render component here we are going to pass the context error logger context state this is the argument we are going to pass to this function and this is going to return us the render of this component error logger context dot provider and we are going to pass value which is mock right this mock value we are going to pass and inside this we are going to render the landing page component we have we will be importing this landing page and here we will close this error logging context provider okay so this method we are going to use for our test cases we will first render the component and then we will do the assertions okay so here now actual test cases will start till now we were just preparing okay and with the same logic we can test all the methods like add remove start stop we can just check once the you click on the start with you click on the stop and you click on the clear all the actions are happening accordingly or not so our first test case is uh, we can see this is like a describe it right testing start and stop start stop and clear buttons clear actions okay this is our test case and in this test case we are first we are going to do render component render component we'll pass the mock context this is the first thing and then we will get the const const stop button how we can get it using screen api screen dot get by test id get by test id and here we are saying the test id is stop so we can actually do a fire event fire event dot click stop button we are actually triggering 
the fire event on the stop button and then we can just do expect expect more context dot stop button stop message has been triggered or not stop message to have been called simple uh, to have been called to have been called something like this right So here uh, in the same way we can test all the other other buttons let's say this is for the start this is for the start button okay we are doing get all by test id this is stop and this is the clear button so i mean just a variable change we can call it the clear button stop button start button just a variable names and this is going to be the start button dot have been called start message this is a stop message this is a clear message okay you can also change the the mock context mock context can have some values okay and then we can just check let's say uh, what i what i mean to say is mock context can have some message let's say something like this more context dot message and then you render this uh, context and then you can check the screen should show this hello world warning I mean some kind of a message right this would appear with the priority one in the warning same uh, same thing you can do is let's add couple of more messages here priority one there will be two different messages will appear right in this particular case this is hello world error then after rendering it you will also get another text in the document so what we are doing is screen dot get by text to be in the document so this label might be appearing appearing somewhere we are just asserting that so these kind of unit test cases we can write and with that we can call the end of this video this covers the react type script tailwind app and we have covered a lot of different concepts the context type uh, how to define the typings for the component how to write the test cases how to do the setup of react type script with the tailwind and how to configure the tailwind config like you can extend the colors you can also extend the variants in in couple of more videos in the future we we will also define the breakpoints like a small medium large we don't need to use all the breakpoints we can define here on which particular viewpoint viewport width you want to call it as a small and where you want to call it as a medium okay that's it guys thank you thanks for watching and if you like my videos you can subscribe my channel